first. Yeah, it's brutal. You know, it's the same rookie as my rookie year. You know, you lose in the playoffs and you're not expecting to. You're expecting to be lifting and meeting and moving on to the next opponent and it's over. And I don't know if this is the worst day of the year or if cut day, it's just terrible. You know, you're saying your goodbyes. Whether you, this is, the locker room's never going to be the same, you know. Um, and we got a really good locker room, really good players, really awesome guys. Um, so it's just, it's tough, but it's kind of the nature of it. And would have loved to keep playing, but this is where we're at right now. So. Why did you guys, as you look back on yesterday, had a chance to sleep on it? I mean, as an offense, as an offensive line, you guys had a lot of success. Why, why do you think the score ended up the way it did? You know, there's a lot of things. Um, I think all three phases are probably feeling like they could have played better. Um, but, you know, they played a good game, uh, the Giants. They played really well, so give them credit. Um, and they played better than we did, scored more points than we did. Um, and we're not even watching the film, you know, I, I've seen the film personally, but we're not getting together and looking at the fine details. Um, definitely plays you want back, but um, it's the playoffs and you got to bring your best, your, your A game. Uh, and we didn't do that, so it's, it's tough to swallow that pill, but kind of have to and, and move on. And there's a really good thing building here. You know, it's uh, Coach O'Connell's done an unbelievable job coming into work every day. This is the most fun year I've had by far. Um, just this locker room, every guy is a joy to be around. Um, some best friends, lifelong friends, and um, it's tough that it ended the way it did. Well, just laying out what you just did, I mean, how much would you like to be back considering your yeah. contractual situation? Yeah, you know, I love to. I love it here. I love this locker room. I love these coaches, the, the culture that's, that's put in place here. Um, and we'll kind of cross that bridge in the coming months. Um, I've never been through this before, so I don't really know how it works or what's going to happen. But um, you know, I've expressed that I want to be here, and um, I love the offensive line room. You know, those those guys are awesome. Um, love playing with them, love hanging out with them, love joking with them, messing with them. It's 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 awesome. So we'll see how the coming months play out. But um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. What did, you, what did you do this year, Garrett? What, what did you do to take an, another step as a center this season and have such a solid season? You know, I think just as a unit, we, everything was just clicking a little better. You know, it's I had more more reps with Ezra and, and, and Ed grew so much throughout the year, um, and we just had a good good time playing together. You know, I like to think that we're a physical group and love to play the game. You know, I love how each of us play the game. You know, I, I know how Brian and CD approach the game. I know the effort that they attack the game with. Um, it's just an awesome group to be around. You talked about how you kind of went through this. How is it to emotionally and mentally kind of reconcile the season ending and knowing what might be on the horizon? Yeah, it's hard. You know, you try not to think about it because you just try and live in the present. But um, could have been my last home game at U.S. Bank yesterday, which it's kind of tough to think about walking off the field. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, never been here before so it's just a lot of emotions um but love this group love this team it's a great organization the fans it's it's awesome what does it say about this team as a whole justin said it eric kendrick said it that it's not about the money it, it, it's about more than that the money comes but it's about other situations that football wise and people wise has to happen yeah there's a lot that goes into it um and i'll definitely try and lean on guys like that that have been through it um but i'm just Kind of in the coming months, figure out what's next. I don't, I don't really know. Kind of clueless in that regard, but um, hope it all plays out. You know. Did, did you always think you were going to come back and play this year? N you know, I didn't. You know, we were kind of the trainers had me on a pretty slow ramp um, process trying to get back, and uh, didn't always know. But felt great the past week, um, and glad I was able to get back out there. You saw Ted did you say in that game yesterday? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's. Um, definitely game, game speed, you can't really replicate that. Um, and for a few weeks there, there was only so much I could do physically, but uh, I felt good and like I said, love playing with those guys and once you're back out there with them, it's like riding a bike. Um, so it was, it was good to get that last one in. Brian on the, on the, on the jumbo yeah, That was unbelievable. <laughs> did you know that was coming? Uh, a few of us did. He wanted to keep it a secret. Um, <laughs> But all those chains on his neck, and if y'all, yeah, that's just, <laughs> it was unbelievable. Um, 
So that was that was cool that they got to recognize him because he's such a big part of who we are and what we do. Um, would have loved to have him yesterday, but uh, that was cool that he was with us in that regard. He'll never forget that, and we won't either. So, <laughs> how tough, Garrett, is it just the abrupt ending? Here, you guys have your first home playoff game in a while. Everybody's confident in the 13 win season, and boom, it's just over. It's, it's I'm still trying to process it. Mm. You know, it's just it's so abrupt. It's you have such a schedule, and you know what you're doing each day of the week, and then all of a sudden, oh my bad, it's over. Um, so, just figure out next steps now, and hopefully, if you guys stick around, we can kind of hang out and digest the season, and and just kind of hang out a little bit more. But before everyone kind of goes their separate ways, but that's the hard part of it because mm -hmm. everyone just kind of goes back home, um, and it's over so quickly. But it's tough, but it's part of it. Talk about the unknowns a couple times now. Just how tough is that that you don't know what's Yeah, it's happen. weird. Never been in this situation before. You know, I always knew I was going to be back next year and um, love what they're building here, and I'd love to continue to be a part of it, but um, just see how the business plays out. Uh, just kind of move forward.